kind of stuff, okay, which is great if we can stay on top. But there is a risk when we're in this position, especially with this leg if it drives down towards the mat. This is where I end up in a flattened position, so I call it flat back. So we need to have a look at some of the things that we need to do from this position as well to try and get out and prevent the arm wrap, okay? So James gonna just take his leg over, okay? So the controlling leg is the one that's over the top, okay? This is the real problem, yeah? This leg, you can kind of move it around, you can do stuff, but he still has the ability to break your arm because of this controlling leg. Now, there are some um, positions which you could argue if this is in here or you kind of change the angle, you can still finish the armbar and have really good control. But for now, we're just going to focus on this one, okay? So, when we end up in this position, I can't let this arm try and handle all of Jason's body weight. So when Jason attaches to my arm, his body's now attached, his arms are now attached, and it's going to be a lot easier for him to kind of go back and then hinge his hip up. Okay, so I have to try and protect this arm as quickly as possible. My preference is always a gable grip. Okay, so I'm always trying to thumbs together, gable grip. You may not have that option though. There is a little bit of desperation in here. So you may end up in like an S grip, which is still a good grip for me, not the strongest grip I have. Uh, um, um, if things go really well, as well as I can with someone kind of sat on your face, I'm gonna go, to a rear naked choke position like we did before, okay? So, Jay's gonna take me coming out into an arm bar. As I go back, I'm gonna go try and go underneath and into here, okay? So I've got this rear naked choke, choke position. If I can't, and do this nice and steady and slow, don't start exploding or going crazy. Just if you can naturally get this arm position, great. If you can't, gable grip. If you can't, S grip, if you can't do all of that, you're probably going to get arm bar anyway. Okay, so I just want you to practice that person going into the arm bar and then trying to find one of these positions. And have a play with all, all three, really. So, uh, so it's like a really naked choke position. So this hand goes underneath. So we kind of practiced this, didn't we? When, um, I'm on this side. Yeah, we practiced this with the stack. And we'll look to get that hand in. Yeah, but this time we're just going to get this inside arm onto the bicep as well. Okay, but don't worry about it, as long as you grab your arm, that's the key thing. Yeah, whatever happens, yeah, the key thing is to get a connection so that that guy's not by himself. Okay, just quickly recap the arm, like, oh, I'm sorry. 